Hello everybody, this is Mr. The Wow Fanatic. Um a Mitroid Fireplace. One minute. Audio's a bit loud. Um Yeah, I am in Heroic POS. We are defeating the first boss, the Forge Master. Garfo Garfrost. Um he does an ability which shoots frost stuff out and permafrost, that's what it's called. Once you get to about 12 stacks, or 11 or something, you should hide behind a Serenite Rock to get that debuff off. When he runs behind, when he runs the anvil, you go behind the rock to get the debuff off. He keeps doing that frost aura, and after a huge permafrost, the, incre the damage is increased by like 500% or something, so you will die eventually of too many hits. Um, so yeah, we are about halfway down, he's about halfway dead. And we're just downing him. Nothing special. Just downing him. This video is basically going... This, this is another part of the druid gearing montage. This video is going to be specifically only on POS. I decided to record the whole boss fights for all these. Because that's what I did with the rest of them. Most of them, if I, try, if I remembered. But I did it specifically for this one because I want to explain the new ICC rate the new ICC instances, which are FOS, POS, and HOR. Um, FOS isn't that, isn't very hard, not much explainable, not much explaining there. I, th I believe I explained it in another video, but if I didn't, I will. If you, uh, I died here, yeah, died, and some shoulders dropped. Scrolled up to read what the guild chat said, so I was talking to somebody in the guild chat about what happened. Some guy's rezzing me right now. He's got me. And the loot that dropped was a tank shoulder, was or tank shoulders plate. So now we are, um, a Nick. We're downing him. Okay. Well, his abilities, there's a few of them. One is called... Poison Nova. He does a huge Nova that does poison damage, like like 20k or something. So yes, it's about 25k, which I say run because it happened right there. And the tanks don't die because Poison Nova, because it doesn't hit that much for a tank to die. But DPS probably will die. Um, yeah, it's about that. And then there's a thing he does, Pursuit, which he goes after a different person. He goes after a, a party member, which he's doing now, going after the hunter, I believe. And he goes after him, so they have to run around for about five seconds or so while it's going on. Because the tank, it's un he's a, he, Ick is unaggroable. Now, there's to he does to toxic waste. You must get out of that. And he also does explosive bra barrier or bra or something, where these... Wherever you're standing, one will pop up, and they explode if you're standing on them. So right here, I just jumped and ran. They explode, and they do do massive damage, especially when there's like six of them right behind, right on you. Before this boss, we're talking about how paladins used to think that they can just bubble and not get hurt by the poison nova, but it didn't work. We were going to skip the flame people up here. What you can do, right when you kill the boss, you loot them, mount up, and run. So you can try and skip the flame, the wave, the first wave of that, of, a pa of the path coming up after this boss. Um, we didn't make it, so we had to kill him. But it wasn't that big of a deal for me. Here's another poison nova. Everybody ran. I don't believe pets get hurt that much because this pet got hit by it, I believe. And he didn't get hurt. So, why that's why the tank mounted up really fast and tried to run. And then the rogue did sprint. And here was a tank trinket that dropped. Okay. So, yeah. Now we're on the last boss fight. We got the achievement Don't Look Up by nobody getting hit in the cave. We lost our rogue because he ninja'd the tank trinket. So we kicked him out and we just four four man this boss. It probably would have went faster if we threw five manned it, but whatever. We didn't feel like grabbing another DPS. I'm showing you guys my idol again that I have. 
and showing you the buff it gives. It gives spell power if, a, if I keep rejuvenation up. Basically, every time it rejuvenation ticks, it goes up one point, and telling them two seconds till it starts, and combat is starting now. So, obviously, in this fight, um, he throws Frost down, you have to run away from that. Um, he does an oh, ability called Overlord's Brand, which if you do, da if you have it on you, and you do damage, then, if you, right here, if you do damage, you will kill, your you'll hurt yourself, and if you heal, it will heal him. So I cannot heal during this. Later on, I do end up healing during it because I was forced to, seeing how the tank was almost dead. So I had to heal during it, and it healed the boss a great deal. So you don't want to get that, if you get that debuff, then you want to stay away. He also marks people for death, which this tank is marked for death. You do not DPS during when someone's marked for death. They get hurt a great deal. And our tank was, and if our tank died, that would have ended badly. I still had battle res, as you can probably see, but it would have ended very, very badly. I'm thinking of getting rid of bartender, just to get back to the other UI. I don't know if I am going to. I might, I might not. I might get rid of Citrina buff frames too. Also, meaning, I did get rid of Expertal. I used to have that because it was really hard to heal. Especially in the Osculus, or however you pronounce it, with the Drakes, which is right above Nexus. The portal above where the Nexus portal thing is, is the Osculus, or whatever. It was very hard to heal the Drakes, because they were counted as a pet, and the pet slot was really small. And I did not want to mix with x Pearl to make it bigger, so I just left it be. So I'm just sitting here healing. Nothing exciting, the boss is about halfway dead. Here is where our tank almost died. I had to spam everything under the sun. For some reason, it really looks like it's lagging. But I wasn't lagging at all during this fight. Yesterday, my FPS was really low. Well, in the morning, my latency was very high. At one point, it got to a peak of 7,000 MS milliseconds, which was very, very bad. Normally, it's at like 100. And then my F and then later on that night at about night night time, my latency went down to fifty or, or about one hundred, which is normal. And then my FPS went down to twenty, which normally that's like sixty or so or so. And even when I'm video making, I wasn't even video making, so it was very bad that day. And now it's perfectly fine. I don't know why it looks like it's lagging. Maybe it's my computer. Maybe it's, it won't be lagging on YouTube, but right now I think it's lagging while I'm narrating because I have. YouTube open, Camtasia Studio, Fraps, and World of Warcraft all open right now. So that could be the reason why. I don't know. So the boss is about half dead. The tank is marked for death again. Our Boomkin DPS was very upset because he got geek always got marked for death and Overlord's brand was always on me and him. So he was very upset because he couldn't DPS or else he'd kill himself. So yeah. If you get over, don't think you can DPS while the brand's on you. Even if you're the tank, you shouldn't be attacking. You should have to attack on your bar, which I don't have. I should put on my bar. Put on your bar and unclick it. Unclick it if you get marked for death because you do not want to die. If you don't, especially if you don't have a druid healer, because then they can't be res. We had druid healer and a druid DPS, so that worked better. Uh huh. So yeah. Just killing this guy is about 3 4 dead, about 25% health. This whole video was only on POS because I wanted to explain the fights. Just a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to try Windows Movie Maker and Audacity, see how it turns out while on YouTube for one part of the Let's Play. On just another Let's Play, I'll just make a new character and start leveling it and see how well it works out. Or I'll just show you guys parts of me leveling another character. But guys, check out my suggestions video. I know it's kind of old now. But check it out and throw me a suggestion. Someone threw me a PvP suggestion. So I did a little bit of PvP. I believe that video is up right now. If not, it will be coming up soon. Um, I, PvPing on, I did PvP on my rogue. 
it's not that great as I told everybody that my peeping skill isn't very great so we killed the boss finally I got frost because that was my first heroic I did for today and um a healing male boots dropped I believe healing or DPS I'm not sure um and a tanking once it comes up a tanking plate so hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next video